Okay, before I get started, I just want to let you know that I'll probably clear my throat a lot. I am overcoming a cold, so I do apologize for that and how it might interrupt my story a little bit, um, but I can't help it. <laughs> so for today, I chose to read aloud to be Ruby the Copycat by Peggy Rathman. And as we were talking about character development, this one really stuck out in my mind because she develops a lot over the story. And this is a kid's book that is um, really good at character development. So I chose to do that. And, you know, I would start off talking to the kids about character development, and then I would kind of give them some pointers to look for in the story, such as how does she develop over the story, how do people react to her, you know, that kind of thing. And then after that discussion, you know, I would start the read-aloud. So Ruby the Copycat by Peggy Rathman. <clears throat> Monday was Ruby's first day in Miss Hart's class. Class, this is Ruby, announced Miss Hart. Ruby, you may use the empty desk behind Angela. Angela is the girl with the pretty red bow in her hair. Angela smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at Angela's bow and tiptoed to her seat. I hope everyone had a pleasant weekend, said Miss Hart. Does anyone have something to share? I was the flower girl at my sister's wedding, said Angela. That's exciting, said Miss Hart. Ruby raised her hand halfway. I was the flower girl at my sister's wedding, too. What a coincidence, said Miss Hart. Angela turned and smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at the top of Angela's head. Class, please take out your reading books, said Miss Hart. At lunchtime, Ruby hopped all the way home on one foot. When Ruby came back to school, she was wearing a red bow in her hair. She slid into the seat behind Angela. I like your bow, whispered Angela. I like yours too, whispered Ruby. Class, please take out your math books, said Miss Hart. On Tuesday morning, Angela wore a sweater with daisies on it. At lunchtime, Ruby hopped home sideways. When Ruby came back to school after lunch, she was wearing a sweater with daisies on it. I like your sweater, said Angela. I like yours too, whispered Ruby. On Wednesday, Angela wore a hand-painted t-shirt with matching sneakers. After lunch, Ruby hopped back to school wearing a hand-painted t-shirt with matching sneakers. Why are you sitting like that, whispered Angela. Wet paint, said Ruby. On Thursday morning during sharing time, Angela modeled the flower girl dress she wore at her sister's wedding. Ruby modeled her flower girl dress, too, right after lunch. Angela didn't whisper anything. So at this point, I would kind of stop and talk to the kids and say, you know, what do you see that Ruby is doing? And why do you think Ruby is doing that? And then we would talk about how Angela is starting to react. How is she changing, you know, her um, way that she's reacting to Ruby? By coincidence, on Friday morning, both girls wore red and lavender striped dresses. At lunchtime, Angela raced home. When Angela came back to school, she was wearing black. One afternoon, Miss Hart asked everyone to write a short poem. Who would like to read first, asked Miss Hart. Angela raised her hand. She stood by her desk and read. I had a cat I could not see because it stayed in back of me. It was a very loyal pet. It's sad we never really met. That was very good, said Miss Hart. Now, who's next? Miss Hart looked around the room. Ruby? Ruby stood and recited slowly. I had a nice pet who I never met because it always stayed behind me, and I'm sure it was a cat too. Ruby smiled at the back of Angela's head. Someone whispered. Ruby sat down. What a coincidence, murmured Miss Hart. Angela scribbled something on a piece of paper. She passed it to Ruby. The note said, you copied me. I'm telling Miss Hart. Yes, I hate your hair that way. Ruby buried her chin in the collar of her blouse. A big tear rolled down her nose and plopped onto the note. When the bell rang, Miss Hart sent everyone home except Ruby. Miss Hart closed the door to the schoolroom <clears throat> and sat on the edge of Ruby's desk. 
Ruby, dear, she said gently, you don't need to copy everything Angela does. You can be anything you want to be, but be Ruby first. I like Ruby. Miss Hart smiled at Ruby. Ruby smiled at Miss Hart's beautiful polished fingernails. Have a nice weekend, said Miss Hart. Have a nice weekend, said Ruby. On Monday morning, Miss Hart said, I hope everyone had a pleasant weekend. I did. I went to the opera. Miss Hart looked around the room. Does anyone have something to share? Ruby waved her hand. Glued to every finger was a pink plastic fingernail. I went to the opera too, said Ruby. She did not, whispered Angela. Miss Hart folded her hands and looked very serious. Ruby, dear, said Miss Hart. Did you do anything else this weekend? Ruby peeled off a fingernail. I hopped, said Ruby. The class giggled. Ruby's ears turned red. But I did. I hopped around the picnic table 10 times. Ruby looked around the room. Watch. Ruby sprang from her desk. She hopped forward. She hopped backward. She hopped sideways with both eyes shut. The class cheered and clapped their hands to the beat of Ruby's feet. Ruby was the best hopper they had ever seen. Miss Hart turned on the tape player and said, follow the leader, do the Ruby hop. So Ruby led the class around the room while everyone copied her. And at noon, Ruby and Angela hopped home from lunch. So after that, I would then talk to the kids about the character development, how Ruby grows over the story and what she learns. And you know how they can apply that to themselves and all of that. So um, another book that I really like that talks about character development is Stella Luna. You know, this is a bat that um, is raised by a bird and consequently, or by consequence. And um, <clears throat> so then she finds out, you know, what it is to be a bat instead of a bird. But throughout the story, she learns that, you know, you can kind of be more than one thing. You don't have to fit into one mold. And I think that they kind of complement each other a little bit. Okay, well, um, I hope you enjoy that. And um, I will then write my paper, and that'll be it. Okay, thanks.